Good morrow, YouTube. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Today, uh, we have a new project car. So, we got this Nissan Sentra right here. GXC. I know, it's old, it looks clapped out, but you guys are gonna see a complete transformation. As you can see, uh, it's already being worked on right now, so we're gonna do some new headlights and we are gonna put some halos in, is that right? Halos. Halos, um, and uh, we're gonna be tinting the tail lights. So we're gonna be tinting the tail lights first, then we'll work on this part. But if you guys are new to the channel, please like and subscribe. And this is going to be X's build. First thing we're gonna do is uh, clean the lights. As you can see, they're pretty dirty and we're gonna be using uh, some VHT night shades. So, so VHT night shades. Uh, to be able to tint these lights uh, we're gonna do one pass over it and see how it looks but most likely we're gonna end up doing two passes so first step uh, he's just gonna use a little bit of glass cleaner uh, and spray it down and then just clean it I mean a lot of people like using alcohol to clean it but alcohol is scarce nowadays um, because of the virus and whatnot so just gonna do that pass and then we're gonna pass it again you gotta make sure that you clean the inside right here so we're just gonna what we're gonna do is wet it fold it right there put a little bit right there and we're gonna pass that part on yeah on the edges So next step, what we're gonna do is line the tape right here. And we're gonna line it across this area in here. Okay, in here. So we're gonna put some paper and some stuff to cover it. And then we're gonna fold this over. So we'll show you how to do it real quick. So he's putting it in the kind of like the cracks. And it's harder right there since it's on like the corner and it's like a curve. But after that, put it in. And one thing that's important to have is maybe like a, a card or something that you can pass, um, that you can pass through. So that's what we're gonna use. We're gonna use a card that I have. Real quick, he's gonna pass it underneath. Can I this real quick? Oh, like that. So the first part. So we're just gonna pass it through here. Let's see, pass it in like this. This part's getting a little tough, and it's okay if you mess up the tape, as long as you get it creased or get it in there enough. That way you can paint in the, the whole light. See that? There we go. Boom. It's that simple. So we're going to rip these into pieces a little bit so they have a little bit more turn. Then we're going to put paper inside of these areas and cover it and then we'll paint it okay so um we've already got this all messed up i know it's ugly but you know what 
really doesn't matter um, as long as you got everything covered up because this thing can spray uh, pretty wide so let's take this off and what we got to do we shake it good for eight to ten seconds now uh, the thing with this is not like a spray can where you go like this you got to do the whole thing back and forth like kind of in an even manner and it seems like around six inches away from it so we're gonna do it from like right here i'm gonna start there we go so that's just one pass we're gonna let that cool off we're gonna do the other side and then we're gonna come back look at this see how it looks and then we might just go over again but um, already look at the difference it, are, it already looks way better in my opinion what do you think of next it's really good bro so one good. more pass probably all right sounds good take a look guys so we got these a uh, little bit dark you can't really tell the lighting doesn't do it justice but uh, they're not crazy dark look th let me show you guys crazy dark this is black this is like completely smoked out uh, and then there's these so you can still see the red just like nothing so we did it on both sides now we're gonna wait uh, just remember if you guys are gonna be doing this you got to make sure that you're away from it that you don't spray close I'm telling you because if not you're gonna get drips and it's gonna look uneven then you have to clean it off sometimes even uh with brake cleaner and and take it completely off and it's sometimes it's freaking hard but yeah these are gonna look pretty sick apparently x wants them pretty dark but we're just gonna give them another pass uh we're gonna wait about uh maybe five six minutes um and then give another pass and then see how it looks afterwards it's good bro bro you're supposed to be working on cars not eating dude longer <laughs> <laughs> all right so we got this is the second pass so it's already looking pretty dark but not as dark as we want them so let's just do a little bit more so we're gonna do the third one now That's so how the third one looks. We just wait a little. You have to wait a couple seconds or like about a minute to actually see the true color and see how it looks uh, once it dries out. But you can tell it is already darker than this one. Let's try this one again. So this is with the third one and we're gonna turn on the lights see how it looks yeah that still looks good there we go. fourth pass and it looks freaking dark so finally gonna take them off and see how that looks oh this is how they look they look pretty sick they're dark though you can tell they're tinted we ended up tinting this one too just gave like two passes on it and it looks good we're going to unbox one of these lights, show you guys what's in there. You have to use a machete, if not it won't work. Yeah. Alright, what's it come with? So, like a wrapped headlight. What else? Connections, which already peeled off. We're gonna have to peel these off. We're gonna get a connection to it so the halo start working. Um, but it doesn't come with any connectors, looks like. No, it does not. We're gonna have to buy something now with the halos. Moy, grab it real quick. So, 
They're pretty sick. Yeah, no, they're sick. But we've already started some of the process, so let's turn it around. Um, make sure you get both black wires, and then you get a male connector, and then crimp it. And both white ones, a female connector, and then crimp it. So that's what we've done. The next step is going to get some power out of this one right here. So we're going to uh, cut into this one a little bit. Um, and then connect this red wire that we've already crimped. And that way we can get some power to the halos. We're gonna end up connecting this red one to the, uh, it's the white ones that we, we connected yeah, to? Yeah, you connect white to the red and then you connect your- The um, black to the- Black. Black? Black to black. All right. If we can open this up. There you go. That yeah, damn. Okay. Let me stick this red one in here. Oh, hold on. Let's do it the other way. Let's do it this way. I um, mentioned that we needed to disconnect the battery so we don't get shocked. Well, you could leave it connected. You could, but you run the you run a risk to it. die. Okay, <laughs> then, like so. Oh. <clears throat> Rainy day today. Windy. Like that. So I'm gonna just make sure it's not gonna loose, get loose. And we're gonna close this one up. Okay, we got the red connector done. Right. It's got the black one. Some black wire. Now we're just gonna crimp this up real quick. Get this in there. Is it good? No. You wanna do it? Yeah. Let's see? There we go. Sorry guys, let's go. So same process with the black one. I'm gonna put it in there. What'd you do? Put it through? Yeah, I just needed more space. So now we gotta crimp it, crimp it, crump, crimp six, crump. Cowboy, <laughs> <laughs> like... oh show me. No, <laughs> show me real quick. <laughs> All right, do it again. No. <laughs> all right, we're we're all connected now. All right, next step, let's connect the the whole head the head unit. So we're going to be connecting this to this one right here and then we're going to be connecting this one to this one right here Yep. and then putting the lights in, old lights. See him?
step is we're going to connect this one to this one right here and then we're going to connect this one to this one right here as well so we're going to do all that at the same time we're going to connect the battery real quick turn it on and see if the halos work then after that we'll just move on to the other side okay, so everything's connected so we have to take this out real quick because it's uh i think it's a little bit dirty so it doesn't want to uh, go in all the way in this one's connected to this one again uh, we've connected these two just push them in all we're gonna do is put the battery terminals on and then uh, we're gonna test it like that so um, Put this on this put that one there Okay, all right, so um, just get a hand tight yeah. You don't even have to put that on just put this on real quick just so we get a good connection. Okay Okay, and then putting them both on it should be good uh, good enough to just be able to turn on the car and see if they work so want to do that real quick turn on the car Don't turn it on. No, just just the lights. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, they work. Yeah, they work. They do? Yeah. yeah let's go. We need to make a video tonight. Dude. We'll record it later. Yeah. You see how? Yeah. Yeah. Flash. Fl see, turn on your turn signals. And then high beams. Okay, turn signal's working. So it's just this one. Looks like that ugly one is gonna be your turn signal. <laughs> this, uh, yeah, this one right here. Yeah. The old light. Um, flick them forward. Okay, yeah, that worked. See it? There you go. Let's see. There you go. Well, yeah, that looks dope. You need new bulbs, so we need white bulbs. I have new bulbs in there. I know, but you need like white ones, so they're not like yellow. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that looks pretty good. When you do that, you could see the halo more. Do you do it? Just leave them on. Leave them on? Yeah. You no, know, you don't know how to permanently leave the high beams on? Right there. There? Yeah, come here. Yeah, come here. So it looks like they'll work. We're just going to take off these uh, again. Uh, just going to fix it up in here and then work on the other light um, so we're just gonna start by disconnecting everything here so let's do that took the screws out uh, this one was a little bit old so it was a little bit hard but we're just gonna pull these out by pushing on these and then just taking them out real quick so we gotta tape this right here because the wires are kinda hanging loose because they're pretty long but uh, this side's almost done. Next step is um, doing the same thing, just like we did on the other side with the red wire. Connect it to the red wire, and then the black one connected to the black one, um, and then and then crump boy. I'm gonna crump it. <laughs> see, crumped? Or right, let's see. <laughs> just real, just one real quick, boy. One for the what? One for the views. One for the views? Let's see. Now they're ready for this crown. We're all wired up, so basically did the same thing to the other side. Uh, now we're just fitting it in. And for those of you asking if this is really a three person job, it is. <laughs> one to record, one to watch, the other one to do all the other work. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so they're finally both installed, and we're gonna see how it looks. We're gonna hear how it looks. We're gonna hear how it looks. <laughs> yeah, that looks dope. Guys, we'll make a video of how it'll look at night. Uh, but anyways, we know we know it looks a little bit clapped out still, like I mentioned earlier. But we're gonna do a complete conversion for this car. It's gonna look nice.
gonna detail it. Ain't that right? Is that right, X? Yeah. Moy, do the crumb, please. Nah. <laughs> how was he doing the crump? How? So, how was I how did, you, how did you do the crump? No, how did they crump battle in like those videos? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, anyways, thank thank you guys so much for watching, and have a good day.